Systemic functional linguistics is a way of studying language that focuses on how people use it to communicate in real situations. It looks at language not just as a set of rules, but as a system of choices that speakers make, depending on what they want to say and who they are talking to. According to this view, language always has a purpose, and every word or sentence we use serves a function, such as giving information, expressing feelings, or getting something done. This approach helps explain how meaning is shaped by both the grammar of a sentence and the social context in which it is used. Now let's look at the origin of systemic functional linguistics. This approach developed in the mid-20th century as a response to more traditional grammar systems that focused mainly on sentence structure without considering real-life language use. Its early thinkers believed that language should be studied by looking at how it functions in society, not just how it is built. Over time, it became a widely used model in both language research and education because of its focus on meaning, communication and purpose. It has influenced the way people think about language in classrooms, workplaces and media. Now let's explore some key features of systemic functional linguistics. One important feature is that it views language as a system of choices. Speakers can choose different words or sentence structures based on what they want to do, such as describe, question, command or connect ideas. Another feature is its focus on three main functions of language. The ideational, sharing information. The interpersonal, building relationships. And the textual, organising the message clearly. It also emphasises that language changes depending on the context, such as the topic, the audience, and the situation. These features make this model flexible and useful for studying real-life communication. Systemic functional linguistics is used in many areas. In education, teachers use it to help students understand how language works in writing and speaking. It is also used to design better reading materials and explain how texts are built for different purposes, like stories, reports or arguments. In research, it helps analyse how language shapes meaning in news articles, advertisements, speeches and everyday conversation. It is also helpful in translation and in creating materials for people learning new languages, since it focuses on both grammar and meaning in context. However, systemic functional linguistics is not without its criticisms. One criticism is that it can be complex and hard to understand, especially for beginners. The terms and categories it uses may seem confusing at first, making it harder to teach or apply quickly. Another criticism is that it focuses heavily on meaning and context, which some people feel can make it less precise when it comes to describing the details of grammar. Some researchers also say it does not always connect well with new findings in areas like brain science or computer language models. These points show that while the model is useful, it may not fit every need or situation.